down here feels good. Yeah, the I vibe. Like this is a vibe. The the mics. I feel like I have to sit up. We're fixing that. Thank God. In a week. All right. Or just yeah. tilt it down. So just do the let your, do the intro song. Oh yeah, then you're like, baby, if you ever wondered. Wondered whatever, whatever became, became of me. I don't know the word. I'm, I'm living, living on, on the air in Cincinnati. Cincinnati, oh, shit. Cincinnati, Cincinnati WKRP. That's a great show. It's an it amazing really show. Unbelievable the Thanksgiving talent. Thanksgiving episode. <laughs> uh, I mean, the, my hand to God, I thought turkeys could fly. <laughs> It's, There's a promotion. Oh, Do you remember the episode? There's vaguely, yes. Promotion where they're going to throw yes. turkeys out of a helicopter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it would get people would be so mad today. Less Oh, today, yeah. Don't they? They play it a lot on. Um, TV Land? Yeah, is it TV it's Land? And there's another one, Me know. TV or something like that. You'll catch some old All in the Family. Dude, you give me some Johnny Fever and Johnny I will Fever. Go. Johnny Les Fever. Nesman. What was the Venus Flytrap? Venus Flytrap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <sighs> That's it. They crushed it. That's the episode all you need. where he teaches the kid about the nucleus, the atom. <laughs> See, you're remembering better you're, than you're I am. way better than I am a I you know when the like uh, on the TikTok sometimes people talk about like Gen X. You talk? Were, yeah. <laughs> and how they were raised by no one. At TVs. TVs. Yeah, yeah. For sure. You came home and just turned on the TV and learned about life from television. Mm -hmm. I know eighty percent of what I know about English literature from The Simpsons. Great. And oh. that's it. That's like my reference. I'm like, oh, I know what, everything you're saying. I've never read that book, but I, I do remember the episode. I know wow. about medicine and law is Doogie Howser and L.A. Law. You're, you seem like a big Corbin Burnson. I'm fan. a Burnson head for <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. Head. I'm a Burnson head. Talk Burnson. about guys who could fuck. <laughs> Let me, let's be honest. That's one. I, I wouldn't Burnson, mind getting Burnson Corbin in Burnson in the late 80s, early 90s was probably crushing... <laughs> So Man. much puss. Coke to the gills. Yeah. I mean, those... Good I, puss. I he, mean, he was probably crushing... I bet you if you sat him down, he'd be like, look, I can't be honest with you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but... Because we're talking about icons, but the entire NBC roster, yeah. I had them all. Let's all just say most of my life is under the category allegedly. <laughs> God damn, man. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the Allegedly. dream. <laughs> no, dude, Burnson. Yeah, I crushed wow. it, man. When he had all his hair on LA Law, he was incredible. Even without, looking. I'll take. He's still really yeah, good I'll looking take. guy. Amazing in Major League. Yeah. I mean, he just <laughs> forget about how good he is in Major League. Yeah. So good. Yeah. A class act all the way. Class act. I, I honestly think America started crumbling when the sitcom theme song Went crumbled. Away. Yeah. Because. Yeah. I mean, things well, changed. Are there sitcom theme songs No, because people would just skip through it. Not with lyrics. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah. The, the theme song used to tell you everything you needed to know about the show. Yeah. So if you didn't yet and never seen the show, you could get in season two. You yeah. listen to the theme song, you're like, this is about family matters. Yeah. I got a pitch for you, Kevin. You got industry connections. Sure. I like we, this. Right. We make a sitcom called Sitcom the Show. Okay. okay. Every week, it's the same actors, but it's just a different, straight ripoff of an 80s TV show. Whoa. Great. Every week, new theme song. New theme song. And, uh, you know, I, That's I just That's going to be tough, but I like it. You know, this on this week's Wayne episode Wayne Brady of improvises that theme song <laughs> every week, but with, a, with no notice. We could get Wayne. You're like, hey, Wayne. Wayne would do it. This one's about a judge who's... A bailiff is a hound dog, and he just <laughs> he's like got it. And ten minutes later, he's done. People often say they should get Wayne Brady for all the theme songs. You know, I I had to audition <laughs> once with Wayne Brady. What with him, like yeah, like it was this show that was improvised. It was all improv, right? So I had already gotten hired. So they had me. They had people come in and 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 do little improvised sessions with me. He came into it. When I say a delight. Yeah. I believe it. Also, one of the nicest suits I've ever seen yeah. in mm. my life. He's very, very nice. In terms of kindness, compare him to me. Oh, whoa. Between On a scale, one to Rick. <laughs> 75 to 80% nicer. <laughs> I believe it. He seems it. Yeah. I'm going 85 to and 90 yeah. I've seen you in a suit. The tailoring is different. <laughs> yeah. His is nicer than mine. He wasn't think? wearing sneakers. 
Whoa, uh, whoa, that's, whoa. That's, that's where we're going to go different ways. <laughs> Although, I feel like you got dress shoes towards the end of the, the rock tour. No, nope, it was all sneakers. Absolutely not. Oh, never, heck, dude. Dude, heck. they wouldn't let them on with dress shoes. Come on. It's not a thing. Dude, never going to happen. Dude, There's not nothing the more uncomfortable. Guy. Just the weird cousin at a wedding forever? Yeah, uh, at best. <laughs> dude, Neil Brennan once called me, and he was like, hey, uh, what are you doing tomorrow? I was like, nothing. He was like, you want to come be creepy? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. And I was like, I guess so. And he was yeah. like, all right, I need to you film a clip of you being creepy and send it to me so I can give it to these uh, producers for this commercial. And I'm like, oh, all right. So I literally made my wife just film me being creepy. Yeah. And then well, What did to you him. do? Just stand in front it, of the it camera? It was literally or? just me staring directly at the camera saying... The uncomfortable things I've heard people say at the comedy store over the years. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's you throw great. a little Dave Taylor in there. Sure, sure. Dave you know. Taylor. So you uh, and so then he was just like, yeah, perfect. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then they booked perfect. me on this commercial. No. And I showed up the next day, and it was one of those weird Bud Light commercials they had for a while. Oh yeah, yeah. It was uh, Amy Schumer and Seth Rogen mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. like a series of commercials they did. Yeah, yeah. And then like the the side people on it that they had just playing small parts. They have like Tiffany Haddish playing the bridesmaid, the overly aggressive bridesmaid. Okay. They had me playing creepy guy. Right. <laughs> um, and then it was it was at a it was a gay wedding. Great. And the commercial aired to a getting. Uh, they were not happy. The, the fans of Bud Light were not happy at the really? time. Really? Yeah. And the, the commercial lasted, I believe, two days before being pulled. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't remember this commercial. Yeah, I don't remember it either. They, like you And you said Bud Light. I go, oh, was that what I saw, Rick, in a Bud Light commercial? But now I'm thinking of it. I, I don't think that's what I was thinking. They like had everything filmed, and then Neil's like, all right, let's do some shots with Rick. And everyone's just like, why is, why is that guy here? <laughs> And then they just had me like creeping up on. First, they had me do it to Amy Schumer, and everyone was really <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> and then they were like, "What if he did it to Seth?" <laughs> oh, that's so, better. Yeah, way so better. It's me like pelvic thrusting on Seth Rogen, oh. and then he just turns on. He's like, "Oh hi, where's that footage? It's, I want that it's footage. somewhere." It's yeah. out Neil's got to put it it's out. It's out there. He's got it for sure. Yeah, I did a commercial See how you're once. Holding the mic. That's, yeah, it's uncomfortable up here. I did a commercial once with Dennis Quaid, and wow. Yeah, the, right? The best Quaid. Probably. <laughs> the only Quaid. Eat it, Randy. The competition's not that stiff. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, but then he said some like wild so anti-vax stuff, and I was like, that commercial's definitely not coming out. Yeah. And it definitely did not. Yeah, yeah that'll do it. That'll do it every He's time. He's so sexy. He is great looking, I like know. right now. It's Still. odd. And I, it's getting better. I told my I was talking to my girlfriend about it. She's like, oh, you don't understand. To every age group. He's hot. Yeah. Like, if you're my age and a woman, you remember him from his, like, age room. But then there's apparently, he, you know, parent trap. Oh, yeah. That every girl who's, like, Lohan age-ish or in their 30s now, that was their first, like, is that a hot dad? Like, he was the yeah. first hot uh, dad oh, yeah, for a lot know. of ladies. Okay. And I, I will say, he showed up at the comedy store here one night. What? Because he was on that show with, what's his name? Who? Uh, what's the comedian that was, uh, he was on, uh, that other show. I would have definitely smelt that out. With, uh, Delia. Quaid's <laughs> my gun. Remember the, well, they were all, Brent Morin? Brent Morin. Yeah. Oh, Brent. He was on a show with Brent Morin, and he came to see Brent. So Dennis Quaid was, like, kind of in the hallways, and I watched many women of every age group just be like, hey, hey, daddy. <laughs> like, if you- Want a uh, drink? <laughs> if you, if you want it, you can definitely yeah. have it. And, and he kind of like, knew it. He literally was looking at him like, I've, already, I've had it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've already had it. I just had you. I mean, he- Talk about another gimme. Yeah. I mean, he's like a short putter at golf. That's married a gimme. Married to Meg so Ryan. Cute. Yeah, Dude. Meg Ryan. Eh, but she's all right. She, no. well, d d d d d you, we in this easy. house? In this easy house? Easy killer. Yeah, but we it's do right. not disrespect Meg Ryan. I'm not she, disrespect her. She's, she's kind of scary looking now, though. Every, well, now. So were we. No, no, no. no. We were always scary Dennis looking. Dennis was it's not different. scary looking now. He nah. didn't do all that. I it's mean, when you do that. Oh, shit. Is this it? Do we got it? A message from Join Bud the party. Lightning. Gay wedding 2016. Love it. It feels good. Feels good. Hey, guys. Oh. Where's Rick? Where's Rick? I was oh, I love her. Oh, her, yeah. 
I think I, the only thing I left in this is just me dancing. At the end? Yeah. <laughs> Tiffany, yeah. There's me creeping in the background. Right where? Here. Where are you? Yeah, that's me right there. Oh yeah. Oh Rick. Get it. That's get enough it. to get paid. You would have gotten paid. I still, I, yeah, I still got paid because they did do an internet buyout, but perfect. <laughs> Rick, <laughs> the oh, yeah. combed hair, so good. <laughs> did you have on dress shoes there? They I, probably made you. They probably put me on. <laughs> Love it. Love it. <laughs> yeah, it felt good. So you got it was nice. I was really excited because it was like, you know, network and everything. I'm like, this is going to be sweet. Yeah, this is going <laughs> to change then, my life. Yeah, probably going to get in a show fuck. with probably. any of these guys. Probably. Yeah, Amy, Seth. And what's her name? Bridget. Bridget? Yeah, yeah Bridget, Bridget Everett. Everett yeah. Still has a, sh has a show right now. Yeah. Yeah, well, they, they weren't impressed. <laughs> and God, Bridget's funny. And I'll tell you, I the like problem her. was, had it been straight like God intended, <laughs> oh. then I'd be rich. Oh, come, right on. Now. come on. Come <laughs> off, off it. it. <laughs> In a Bud Light commercial? Come on. I think we all learned the hard way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think you're making a reference to I my think dear kid, friend. I think Kid Rock would have been upset my dear had friend. he known. <laughs> Your dear friend. <laughs> Dylan's a friend of mine. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Kid Rock's a friend of mine, too. Wow. Love yeah, well. Kid Rock. I'm just I work That's for a him. sense you don't hear this far west Love of Kid Ohio. Rock. I'll say it all day early. Kevin, it's starting to sound like you don't even want to go on his cruise. <laughs> oh my God, you would kill him. What's there. your favorite hit of his? Uh, by the way, he's a phenomenal musician. Yeah, I Yeah, what about know that. Bow to the Bow? Mm -hmm. <laughs> my favorite thing is when, when people just show the pictures of the mansion he grew up in. Yeah. Crazy. Like, yeah, just, when, just remember, this is the aerial shot of the mansion he grew up in when he lets you know he's down home. <laughs> Man, I watched him straight just give the cold shoulder to run his easy hard in Nashville. Oh, that was a terrific story. <laughs> you know I wanted to tell him that on the cruise, and I, I was like, I'm going to butcher it. I can't do it. Oh, God. But do, will you tell it? It's so, it's so funny to have Ran as easy get. Steve just he, he wanted to get high. Yeah. And our friend Lucy was like, yeah, they're, they're smoking pot over there. So Steve wandered over. Saturday night, Steve. We're talking <laughs> yeah, a, good a few Steve. few drinks. So By the way, Steve. so much charisma. Yeah, and we, we, you know, there was karaoke hey, going Bruno. on. We were at Santa's Bar in Nashville, right? <laughs> and it. He turns the corner. I'm kind of following behind. I. <laughs> Look up, realize that it's Kid Rock mm -hmm. and two other people, and I just casually keep walking and mm -hmm. then turn the other way because I'm like, oh, I'm not dealing with this. Yeah. And then Steve walks in, and starts what should be a pleasant conversation <laughs> of niceties, but instead gets just fucking just a, a cold. I would say an ice wall yeah. of. You're not welcome here. Oh, yeah. shit. Um, and at one point, Steve said something like, I swear I'm not retarded. And he was like, <laughs> are, are you? Are you sure? Uh, yeah, like something where you're just like, oh, he's just a huge douche. At Steve Renazisi's wedding, which I was at, uh, I, he made me do the invitations. Nice. No. You didn't nice. Costanza? I did I, I did calligraphy, of which I'm not qualified to do. Oh. And every one of his godforsaken friends and family members have the longest last names. Yeah, every vowel. Yeah. Every and fucking the, vowel. Fucking Lake Ron Con just lip and, and unbelievable. I, at one point my every hand. Every one just of them seized, a scrabble fucking yeah. and the pen just fell out of my hand. It was a forty hour work week to do these goddamn invitations. Wow, people. And hate he didn't you. know why would you do that? And oh. so then but they so they're showing gift? I didn't. I don't get anyone wedding gifts. Good for you. Ever, okay. Ever. Don't do that. Don't get wedding gifts for people. It's bullshit. So they're showing the video. It's at. So we're at the reception, and they're showing the video. You know when they show like baby pictures of the bride and groom. Yeah. They're doing Tracy's adorable. Every Gorgeous. picture of Tracy Renazizi was adorable. Cute as a button. Cute as a button. So yeah. then they start Steve's right, and they start with his adult face. I'm like, oh, it's Steve's turn. They get a picture of him as a baby. When you would, thickest hairline you've ever seen, you, unbelievable, uh, absolute mongoloid. Wolverine. Like this, this <laughs> and literally, the crowd went like this. Whoa! 
Like it was, he was such an ugly baby, uh, like all forehead. Like his head is yeah. large now. A decent yeah, yeah. amount. Of, this head, you instantly thought of his poor mother delivering this absolute oh. ball, like a butterball head. It was crazy uh, what this yeah. kid looked like. He had to. Yeah, it was cartoonish. Full. It took years for him to get cute in this picture thing. Aww. Like it was a slideshow. Probably ten pictures before it was like, okay, here Did we you go. go. The the doctor handed the baby was like, he's a Neanderthal. <laughs> <laughs> did you go to his wedding? I did not. No, I, I, my, I was a bridesmaid, a maid of honor, in my best friend's wedding, wedding the same day. Uh, was out here. They got married in New York. There was yeah. a hurricane. Yeah. It was yeah. like on Long Island. Yes, they were on Long Island. Not a sideburn in on a single man. Everyone <laughs> high up here. I remember I was standing there one time, and Steve, Steve just goes. Welcome to Long Island, Kevin. He goes, yeah. we're absolute trash. Oh, yeah. It's the greatest. I Everyone love just, Long Island. People yelling, like, his aunts did, like, they do, like, a singing act. It was wild. I'd never seen that level of italian Irish-Italian. Yeah. yeah, it was really, because I grew up, That's growing up he here, his red you head. don't meet, like, real yeah. Italian, like, genuine Irish people. Someone, like, someone just told me yesterday they don't have a little Italy here. And they that, don't, we don't, blow, that blows my mind. Never had oh, one. yeah. And I was like, I, no wonder I love the, Los Angeles. You piece of shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? What a great the city. Yeah. Every once in right. a while. There's, there's a San, San Gennaro. Yeah, San Gennaro. But even like where? I don't know of it. Like, I don't know where they have it's, them. It's probably I, in Little Armenia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, if I'm guessing, that's our yeah. West Coast Italian. But no, that's I always love like when him or Ernst would tell stories. I just love the names. It was always yeah. like the Sacramento twins. You're like, this sounds so authentic. Yeah, <laughs> even PJ Stansberry's all of his friends. You, you know, Joey Bag of Donuts yeah. is what we called him. You're like Joey Bag <laughs> yeah, of Donuts. Tommy Nuts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I remember I have a conversation with like Steve Simone, and I go, "Oh yeah," and it was Ronnie Biancuoli and Ricky Cabarelli, and he go. And here's your sign. Greatest <laughs> last name I've ever heard in my life. I'm like, what? Because to me, that's so common. Yeah. They sound like Travolta characters. Yeah, no. Ronnie's like one of my closest friends. Everyone Young here's Gold. name is Johnson, Smith. Like you get sure. genuine Smiths and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, no no long names like that. Do you know the comic Vic D. Batetto? No. Okay, so he's an East Coast comic. He's a little bit older. He started with, like, Dice. Mm -hmm. So, um... How do you not know him? Do you know him? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no, well, because no, he was a New York guy. He was a New York guy, whatever. So, I was working in Vegas uh, at the Riviera, and mm -hmm. Sharipa, the booker, had me open for him because I had just started stand-up. Yeah. So, I was like, okay. And then he got there a little late. So, I just... They gave me the intro for him, and I was like, okay. And I go up, and I'm the other guy's doing his... He was featuring, I was just hosting. And so I go up and Vic comes in and he's all nervous. He's like, oh, she's going to butcher my fucking name. And I'm like, I say his credits and I'm like, give it up for Vic Potato. And he walked up like, no you one's did it. ever said it. my name right. You and I go, it. oh, your name's like Smith in my neighborhood, bro. <laughs> like, Common. nothing. That's nothing to yeah. me. But yeah. yeah, it made total sense Scrabble to me names. that that's his name. So you know? many syllables. <laughs> Too many. Unnecessary. So D. Batetto, that means he's of the Batettos? <laughs> Just say Batetto. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're picking on the Italians. Here's I kind of like this. It's like a, it's like when they <laughs> put Vaughn in front of things. Does, uh, he's very German. He's a Von Mill. It's like th that uh, just means like uh that. Yeah. Uh that. Yeah. We can really uh, like Listen, Mick. This is what why is... other languages are inferior. <laughs> Period. All of them. What does Mick mean? Starting like, with you, or... Spanish. Yeah. Why? Why? Why do why, we do that? Why are you a Mick Dougal? Yeah. What's are that? Are you just a Dougal? <laughs> Just be a Dougal. So you're saying my mom should have grown up just Patty Brian instead yes. of O'Brien? Ooh, yeah. I like that. Oh, yeah. Why is Why there, do we oh. need the O, Brian? O Sullivan. O what uh, is, yeah, of Brian's. Yeah. Well, uh, we don't need it. It's not necessary. I'm Kerrigan's. So what about I'm, uh, of, I'm good. What about uh Delia's? <laughs> uh no, Alias. Uh, Alias? I don't know. I just know <laughs> Delia has an apostrophe. He does have an apostrophe. Did they cancel his apostrophe when they canceled him? Or did the apostrophe, because it's Greek, manage to stick around? I'm not as up on my D'Elia news as I used to be. <laughs> yeah. Let's pull it up on the... No, I <laughs> <laughs> Can we get the lawsuit stuff? <laughs> yeah. We've known a lot of dirtbags. Whoa. <laughs> He brought up PJ. I mean, <laughs> why, wait, why would you assume PJ no, when we're talking about dirtbags? PJ broke James Painter. That's his only crime. 
Other than that, he was pretty good. Unbelievable. That was probably He did break him. He did break him. He was the he was the first domino in the end of one of what could have been one of the great comedians of all time. He would have at we least been one of the greatest comedians here that never went anywhere else. Sure. And that would have been fun. Yeah. He could have done like alternating nights with Holtzman closing the show. <laughs> yes. He would have it's been a twenty twenty three. Who's ready to get rock hard? Following Painter was so man, it's easy because it, he used to make me follow Painter. He was like, I remember he goes, "We think you've gotten better, so we're gonna make you go after Painter." I'm like, "What is this? Who said this? Tommy is easy. or Ren is easy? No, this is before Tommy was the booker, so no, no one was in charge. This yeah. is when Mitzi was doing it kind. I don't even know before Duncan. I don't even remember Mitzi would do the lineups kind of. Princess Corey. Yes, yeah, so, but it wasn't like I don't. It was this. It was like Duncan during only the, had to do the lineups like two or three times. Yeah, it, but the, but during the employee section or the open mic. Oh, sure, sure. Ari and Ren Azizi were in charge. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. They, Sometimes Skippy Simon. Yeah, so they would. He was just like I remember. You would just say yes to I anything. Think it should be that way. Yeah. Can I can I bring this back? Like Please. when they put the names in now, mm -hmm. and then they take them out, and you see who signed up. You should be able to make a lineup. Yeah. Instead of pick to see what time you go up. Sure. I, that makes sense because... Because the, what Ari and them were doing... Well, because you couldn't have like two at the time. You couldn't have two genuinely crazy people back to back. Right. Like You're you couldn't fuck go, up the show. You couldn't go Gaylord Dingler, Jack Matson. Like it couldn't. You Jack. Couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie. Hold on. I consider him in the normal people category. <laughs> oh, really? It was his... It was the beady eyes combined with the... Didn't he have a guitar? Um, but he was homeless, no? It must have been. They seem, they always seem that way. Well, I remember I was walking down Mickey Hollywood. Mickey had a black Amex, so. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. But he gave it to me to run for Michael his Michael Rubens. The yeah. first time I did stand up in my life was here on the Sunday, and I followed Mickey at the open <laughs> mic. Yeah. And Bobby Lee, who got me the spot, goes, are you nervous? And I go, yeah. He goes, you're following a guy who's going to wrap himself in the curtain yeah. and mumble and i was like what are you talking about and then i sat there and i watched i was like that is a that's actually happening yeah and he's like you're not gonna do worse than that <laughs> <laughs> you'll the be all right atmosphere i on, ate the paper from that hershey's kiss for sure oh on no mars is very cold <laughs> that's and what red. he sounded hey, like Mickey? how Den are you <laughs> denver colorado i mean if he had jokes that rhythm would have been good. Oh, Dude, amazing. But the clip. The glasses, the hair. The hair. When we, when the, we, hair. the hair. When we found out that Mickey was acting in movies in Bollywood. <laughs> and sweet. He was dark. Over from the beginning. Mickey starts fucking Kamayo card. Matsuki. Tamayo Atsuki. Uh, yeah, that's her, her. Respect her name. I in, won't. In her house. I will this not. This is her house. Her name is on Tamayo the van. Otsuki. She's on the Eleanor, van. Eleanor, she This was Mitzi's protege. <laughs> All right. Well, the moment you fuck Mickey. Hey, how are you? The respect goes you out the Tamayo? window. You ever meet Tamayo? Fucking crazy. So Mickey goes over there. God love her. Mickey goes over to Asia and is just touring around. This is also part of what ends up getting Mickey dragged into a lawsuit with the makers of Hangover Part 2. <laughs> because Mickey claimed that they stole his actual life to make the movie. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> so he goes over there, and at some point they're in India. He's a real people. And Mickey starts acting. So Ugh. they make a Bollywood movie where the bad guy is an American gunslinger. Great. And Mickey gets the part. Acts in the thing, and they do it. There's a press junk, like a, a red carpet <laughs> for the movie's release, and someone's interviewing fucking Mickey. Oh my God. And so I think it, maybe it Bilac found it or O'Neill. Someone found that it. That makes sense. And they sent it to <laughs> any one of people. those. Yeah. And Gazette it's people. amazing. They're like, do you think more Americans will come star in movies? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I would say. Uh, American actors like myself and Richard Gere are oh, going to so start the wave. <laughs> and he just talks I'm about dead, himself Rick. and Richard Gere. And you're like, there's people from news sources interviewing a guy who's it's literally like the homeless source. open micer <laughs> to us. You really can't explain to people what it was it like It was here. unbelievable. It was so... And I wasn't a comic, so you guys are in a whole nother... 
I just have to wait on these assholes at this point. <laughs> Not getting stage time while they did was infuriating. I, I would, I, when you said that a little bit ago yeah. in another podcast, I was like, I never even thought of that. That, by I, the that way, would have infuriated. Not getting me. stage time for weeks. Not only that, yeah. but not getting stage time once you got past. Because when I got past, there was some leftover regulars. <laughs> it was always leftover. A kind of bad that was so confusing. Yeah. Sound effects guys. Oh yeah. God. Like it were you would, here with like Jeremy Dingle? Dingle. I, I auditioned once for a, a, a guest star on Monk with Jeremy Dingle. You had to go in in pairs. I get paired Lucky. up with Jeremy Dingle. Now, wow, Monk, wow. Monk. How many episodes of Monk did you end up doing? <laughs> <laughs> did he speak? We did. You had to, you, there were two parts and you did both. So you had to do one and then you switched. And now Monk take pl takes place in modern times. Sure. Well, Jeremy Dingle Doesn't. decided to affect the accent of a, uh, an American paper boy. We're paper boys. Sure. American paper boys, I don't know, circa 1810. <laughs> For no fucking reason, it doesn't say there's an accent. And the guy, Monk, he's like the producer. He's sitting there, and one of the lines— Tony is, Shalhoub is yeah, sitting Yeah, Tony there. Shalhoub. We get it. The, the, the scene is like you get someone hits, attacks you and steals the paper. I don't know why. I didn't read the script. And so one of the lines is, why would you do this for a paper? And fucking Dingle's, for a paper? Like that. It was like, and I— I'd already done it like a normal person, and then he does it like that, and I just go, what the fuck like that? And I look at Shalhoub, and he's just like, get these assholes out, out of here, here right now. Oh, my God. Yeah. He wore a newsboy cap. It was just like he'd been waiting his whole life. He had a vest. Tell King George that it's a no from America. I was like, look, you look like a Peaky Blinder. Like, yeah. what is this, man? Dude, those are hot. Some of them. Yeah, I just Some finished that. that show. No one told me it was so good. Dude, unbelievable. Such a good show. You seen Do this you show? Yeah, watch? Nose told me. I it's could only great. make it through a couple seasons, really? and then I got really oh, sick of it. Oh, I got into really? it. It's so yeah. good. We just killed the whole thing in like four weeks. Yeah, I watched like two straight seasons, and then halfway through the third, I'm like, I think I get it. There is a thing with shows that are intense like that to where you're like, I can't do it tonight. Where are they going to go for that? Yeah. Also, where are you going to go from here? I Everyone's just, sad all it, the time. It's hard for me to like any of the characters. Yeah, but they're gypsies. And at first I'm like, uh, The gypsy thing became more appealing as time went on. You were like, I kind of like all these gypsies. Yeah. And I like that they mentioned the Fury family, the bo that boxer. Yeah. Tyson Fury. They're like a real gypsy family. Yeah. Or we're supposed to see Huge. travelers, I think. I don't know. They're called Roma Wait a guys. Are you trying and to be politically filthy. correct? Guys, I live in Los Feliz. I don't have a choice. Listen, this fuck guy, everybody. they'll take my house. This guy's oh, over there in Caravan they Town. They come in, they they'll knock take on the door and be like, he gets We home. heard what he, you said. He gets home tonight. Can you There's that? 40 of them. <laughs> I show up, they're it's like, not even a We heard podcast. you misgendered a dog, and my house is gone. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> they'll lift it off the foundation. Honestly. Uh, it's hard to tell what they want to be called anyway. That's the thing about dogs. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant the gypsies, but if the dogs, you, yes. Do you have a dog? Do you have a dog? I have two I dogs. Don't. Now, you have two now? What are your dogs' now. names? Uh -oh. uh, Daisy and Dolly. What do you call them, though? Um, I call Daisy uh, Piggy Stardust. And See what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're if the name you call your dog isn't now so far removed yeah. from yeah. from the dog's actual name, yeah. now why do you're we a do fucking that? Psychopath. Because I do it too. I don't I, have a dog, right, but yeah. I do it's it just to my mom's a thing. Dog. It's just a thing you develop. You're like, that's your name, and then it then it becomes a, a, a version of that name, right? And then it becomes yeah. usually you you describing a behavior. Sure. My dog's name is Mister Willis. He's not named after Bruce Willis. Okay. But. I call him Chunch because his walk, chunch. he kind of bounces back and forth. It looks, if you were going to make the noise, it'd be like, chunch, 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 chunch. Oh, chunch. Okay. okay. And I think even though he's not fat, I like to call him fat. And Chunch yeah. seems like the name of a fat dog. Yeah, that flies. I yeah. like it. I yeah. call, there's many things that I just, I call him Flumpus. Okay. Because <laughs> that's like the same name of a chunky dog. Both my dogs are doodles, so I'll call Ooh, him the dude. Dudes. That's good. Like, dudes, let's go. <laughs> if I take Daisy out, I say, let's go take a Daisy Duke. Great. Yeah, you know, keep it fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Dogs are great. I call him Biscuit for a while because okay. I decided he was fat and biscuits are like rolls. You know <laughs> what I mean? Sure. I like all of this. Look, my, I'm not going to have sister's kids. Dog, same. My sister's dog is Lucky, so I call her Lucky Lou or Lulu Luck. I had a dog named Lucky. Yeah, Lucky yeah. Lou, Lulu Luck. Because she has a little diamond, little diamond, oh, or like cute. Lucky Diamond. Mm -hmm. 
My I I, my dog Lucky was a pit bull mix, and she used to rip. We had like faux bricks in the backyard mm-hmm. against the garage. Oh yeah, she could rip them off with just her teeth. <sighs> They pull the brick off the wall. My brother Jimmy had a Rottweiler named Nikki, and Nikki used to eat all the from the garage. Every what's that called? Like the stuff around to keep the insulate. Oh wow! <laughs> Nikki would eat all. Jimmy's like, what the fuck? They're big. Yeah, they're built like trucks. Yeah, they're they're great dogs, but they'll eat wild shit. You will spend. Oh, you're a- saying fake bricks, and I mean, he was eating a real I just, garage. How door. do you not crack your teeth? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Wild dog. Piggy Stardust right there. Shut it's a cute your dog. fucking face. That's How a fluffy cute. little bastard. Yeah, yeah uh, my, my growing up dog, her name was Fluffy. Yeah. But I used to feed her Puddin' Pops because nobody told me chocolate wasn't good for dogs. <laughs> and you didn't know about the, the raping associated with the Pudding Pops. <laughs> right. I did, that, at that point, that wasn't out yet. If there was an Meanwhile, official Fluffy... popsicle of sexual assault, it is Pudding Pops, <laughs> pudding pops. unfortunately. So, which is a shame because the swirl flavor. They were so good. Fairly good. By the way, really Fluffy good. would I get eat... in that box and hunt for the swirl immediately. Yeah. You got to pull Fluffy it out. Fluffy would eat those Pudding Pops thing. like it was nobody's motherfucking business. <laughs> it probably wasn't real chocolate. She though. lived to be 18 There's years no old. way there's real chocolate. Agreed. In that can't be because it would have killed her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she, unless that's not a myth that, that the chocolate they can gotta kill eat the a dog. Lot of chocolate. Okay. It, it, they do but. have to eat quite a bit. Well, she ate so much, I called her Puddin Pop. I changed her I name saw to Puds the or Puddin Pop. Saddest fucking picture. There's a vet and they have a thing of Hershey Kisses on the thing and it's for dogs who are about to be put to sleep because everyone should taste Aww. chocolate before they go. And I cried like someone kicked me in the dick <laughs> and then cut me with a razor blade. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Yeah. And that also, is sweet. if it's a female dog, I will call that dog a whore all day. I have to. My mother called. Because they're so slutty. Well, yeah. Their and ass they get off pregnant the quick. Yeah. Little fuckers. Wagging their tail all around town. Classic Jean Benet situation. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Didn't they pin that on somebody? We I thought we were finally pinning it on somebody. I thought we were associating. Aren't they finally pinning it on that somebody? We were in a safe space. Uh, <laughs> last I heard, they were saying the brother did it, but I got to be honest. I think most murders don't end up involving family. Really? <laughs> I I'm gonna you know, go out on a limb here. After that documentary, I was like, the brother definitely did it. I mm-hmm. was thinking the brother did it. Yeah. You think there's somebody it else? It explains why the parents would cover it up. Yeah. Sure. It's the only thing that you explains. You gotta salvage one why. kid. Yeah. Yeah. Salvage. <laughs> Listen, you Sorry. got a Macaulay from you know the good son on your hands. Look, <laughs> you deal with it. The idea that child beauty child beauty pageants sounds like a thing from a country we're about to invade. Listen, I've done it. Man, I'll tell you what. What do you I mean? Wasn't, I wasn't in it. My si- my niece did him, and my sister got obsessed with it. And my sister started making the costumes for it. She hired one of them weird coaches. N- we were close. Did she do that thing? But I'll tell you this: where they stand near the stage and they're like, <laughs> kind like, of. It's terrifying. Karen was like, "Yep, you got mo- to you motivate these kids." If, honestly, if you're going to traffic these kids, you got to get them <laughs> acting the right way for. But what I saw when I went to this. I saw a little girl do probably, she might have been seven, six or seven. She did nearly a strip tease. It was the sexiest dance ever. And I was, the whole time I was like, that's a baby. This is why that's Little Miss baby? Sunshine was so great. Oh, how excellent. I just, there's something so categorically wrong it's, with white it's people. It's terrifying. There's something wrong with whites. In a, why? Why? My niece. Why? My niece got it, wise it all goes to back it immediately. To that, it all goes back to that, like that cotillion Southern yeah. bullshit. Bodybuilding like contests you. and child pageantry. You're like, wait a minute, bodybuilding contests. You usually have to be a certain age, so you're no, 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 no. you're more. But why your body in that like the full Mister Universe level? They can't buy shirts. I understand There's what you're saying. There's nowhere to go with that body adults. after. They're yeah, adults. But, yeah, you have but to at be the a same time age. to see men like Arnold bullying other men. I wanted too. to be a male bodybuilder. So Dude, I pumping iron is amazing. And <laughs> he's when he, so really, good. He shits on Lou. He really. He, he was lived. Lou so he much. had a Lou condo Ferrigno in Lou Ferrigno's head. Hey Lou. <laughs> he lived in that. Hey Lou. What's it Lou like? Lou couldn't hear, but he could hear Arnold. Dude, waking up every day, working so hard for second place. You're bullying a deaf guy mercilessly. Look at you, Lou. Right now, you're doing extra weightlifting, and I'm over here smoking a doobie, and we both know who's gonna win tomorrow. Fuck. He was like, God, that's you beautiful. You are fucking with the hawk, bitch. Yeah. Dude, he got him, though. He's the he king. really got fucking him. Fucking got him. Got him. Size. That's really... 
You add a little height to that bodybuilding, and it really changed the game. Lou really had a great body. He's incredible looking. He was the Incredible Hulk. For Absolutely God's sake. insane looking. Yeah. He, I would meet uh, when I would go to uh, Venice Gold's gym. He was always there yeah. with Dice, and him and Dice would always talk. And I'd be like, "That's Lou Ferrigno." <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm such a weirdo. Would you smash Lou Ferrigno? I don't think so. I, what? I I don't like the way he talks, but I understand because he has an impairment. <laughs> Hold on. Listen, you got you, you like got Rocky Stallone, Balboa, but you and know. then there's a little bit of a difference. <laughs> Moan would tell me about like when he lived in Philly. He's like, you'd go to a concert and every morning I'd be like, meet me at the Rocky statue. So there'd be 9,000 people. To, Where are you? I don't fucking see. Because every idiot was like, meet me at Rocky. I think that's why they put it back to the art museum. <laughs> they were like, too many fucking people are around this rock. I like, guys. I, when I was in. Nobody's even looking at Mike Schmidt. So when I was in Philly, Mike uh, Schmidt. I noted that the art museum. One of the museum, great mustaches of all time. The art museum had a giant Ukrainian flag hanging up, and it really felt like it was an Ivan Drago support <laughs> situation. That's a good museum, though. Uh, Philly's got a hell of a museum. All these years, I never knew there was pictures in here. <laughs> okay, I know every line to Rocky, all right? He doesn't like Rocky. Uh, uh, really? but, uh, the tell thing him, is, Kevin, tell him, Kevin. The thing is, you, the problem with, with the, what's Rick, happened to Rocky. Rick, he has no heart. Oh. Yeah, you are a heartless <laughs> bastard. Thank you. But Thank you. Rocky kind of gets ruined by the subsequent Rocky sequels, whereas that first one, it's like an indie movie or something. That first Rocky. It's like a beautiful 70s indie gorgeous. film. That but first Rocky movie, too as well, I'm that sorry. That first movie is one of Holds the up. biggest piles of shit that was ever made. <laughs> It gets, it gets. What's your problem when he subsequent. sexually assaults Adrian? <laughs> he does it just because he's hanging on the bar. It's a different kind what? of broad, all right? Yeah, you're right. She and felt. Paul, your sister's with me. I love the way you're trapped in here. She definitely felt like she had a choice. That she was her. fine. <laughs> hey, olive oil. You take her to in the here. zoo. I heard they love the zoo. Uh, Dude, so it's it's, it's the, a beautiful film. I heard the writing the is bad. Like the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> the the boxing in those movies is the most atrocious shit of all time. No, 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 so no. That's mean. decent boxing. That you're that's so definitely mean. decent film boxing. But there's there isn't a single bit of defense for three movies. <laughs> but he's a left-handed fighter. They fight with their face. That's how they fight. Eleanor, he's a that's what an ugly person says. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you gotta for a fight while, with I your thought face. he was Irish because that's how we fight. Uh, uh, <laughs> Ivan Drago's tits. Were inc those two were jacked the draw. fuck up? Yeah, when they were injecting yeah. him in the movie, uh, they were actually just injecting. Yeah, they were like, the "Hey, should we turn the yeah. camera around? Let's just roll on this." <laughs> dun, 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 dun. How fucking just keep shiny! That going. There's no reason Drago was listening. Yes. The listening. fight hadn't started. He's sweating. Did within, you see? Well, that's, Kevin, that's glycerin. If, that's definitely if, glycerin. If, yeah. They if I can him. change, and you <laughs> can change, and everybody can change. can change, and the Soviets uh, cheer. Rick, he I'm runs, stuck to my seat. I like what you're he doing He diverts over his there. running path. <laughs> I just love that the Russians, all Rocky had to do was just run a little to the left, and they were like, what are we going to? We have no technology to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Up the mountain. <laughs> Our car is only meant for goes? very deep snow. <laughs> the way they make Russians dumb, like you're talking some of the most but brilliant the engineers on the planet. But you're supposed to. Still. <laughs> they, they, they make brilliant them look dumb. have engineers. to make them look they dumb. Make them, they got to space first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but what, my monkey? Come on, <laughs> they put, come on! Man. They got to space before us, and they're like, always like, "Oh, I have a large hat and can't read." You're like, "What are you talking about?" <laughs> the ballet, the fabricate, the eggs, the jewelry, the incredible empire. No, not enough people. I'm not letting. Not listen, I'm a I'm a huge Rasputin fan. I'm gonna have them take you out of your Los Feliz house <laughs> for saying all of that. Yes, very, very, very good is what it is. <laughs> Did you see Rocky during the pandemic? Sylvester Stallone went back and re-edited Rocky IV. Really? Yeah, because he didn't like certain things. He goes, yeah, the, I'm not going to... Yeah, the problem with the movie... <laughs> Listen, when he was born, the he fucking doctor, they took the Paralyzed on the left side of his face. They ripped his face open, so his like, he the nerves in here got taken away. He was paralyzed. Whole different career without, with that, without that face. He's uh, in a, he's also, and he was, was embarrassed by it as He was a also in a porno. Yes, he was, but I don't talk about that because I, I respect it. him. I seen it. You watched well, it? Tell yeah. us a little bit more about this porno. 
Uh, he doesn't really bone in it, but he does dance naked, and you can just see him flopping it now around. Now I'm watching it. Hold yeah. on. Eleanor just kinda, got it's involved. It's like a very like, 70s... Like, not tango and cash front? It's just, like, no, it's just, front. You see it. Oh. And, and it's just, he's just kind of like... It's kind of like we're all on Quaaludes. Yeah. 70s, like, yeah, man. I'm feeling right. the vibe. Every, yeah, just he's the vibing. The flow's coming through He's me. fully vibing, and you get to see the whole gig. Dangler. Oh, nice. Wow. Flopping. Great head of hair up top and, and bottom. <laughs> top and bottom? Yeah. Curtains match the drapes? Yeah. Like it. Thick. Thick. Did you know he was a polo player? No. Who did? <laughs> It's in his documentary. Welcome back to I, Talking Pews. Well, I mean, the guy's like a, the guy's like an intellectual. And when he said that, I was like, oh, by the way, fuck? has an insane art collection. Knows what he's buying. Like, oh, has yeah. made millions collecting art. And by the way, so smart. His paintings aren't the worst thing I've ever seen. You know whose are though? Paulie, the guy who played Paulie. <laughs> Wait a minute. He made the you shittiest art Young. of all time. He just passed away, didn't he? Just he? Passed away. Not only did he just pass away, but his shitty art just got more valuable. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, they hung this shit up in this day job I was working at. Oh, my Shut God. Shut up. For, a, for like a, a show that they were putting on. I'm done. With Richie? I'm, yeah. Richie, <laughs> Richie was involved. So and it's Burr Young. You gotta yeah. put it on. We will not cast aspersions on actors who also make art at this and during this episode Listen, of this especially podcast. Especially this Kevin, episode. You this guy, Kevin, your art this guy is incredible. Painted a dog taking a shit in the yard. <laughs> I'm and, already and, I want this painting so bad. <laughs> who did that? Fucking Polly from Rock. It Burr was Young. it's so Love bad it. that it, it Why should was be it cherished. Bad? Why was it bad? Then now let me ask you this. When he drew, the way he drew this shit, was it like... Yeah, was it hard? It's a, was it's a blob of brown. He didn't make like a... There was no flies? No. Okay. It does feel a bit lazy. It, it Honestly, <laughs> it felt like someone was like, hey, do you know how to paint? And he was like, no, never done it in my life. And they were like, you want to give it a shot? And he was like, no. And they are like, paint a, paint a house or someone dies tonight. Fine, I'll fucking paint your house. Yeah, it's a shitty house. Go fuck yourself. It seems like a thing you do because a lot of those celebrities end up doing that kind of autograph convention circuit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, it yeah. It seems yeah. like you take a painting and someone's like, I'll buy that painting. Yeah. Is that dog taking a shit? I'll, I'd buy a I'll weird, buy I'd buy a lot of weird. I've, try, I tried to, I've tried to buy like weird celebrity How about, paintings. Before. I like Jamar Neighbors. He's great. Excellent. Jamar's paintings are good. Really I good. love those fucking paintings. They're great. I'd be down to trade them. I'd trade them straight up. Like baseball cards? Yeah. <laughs> you know, I got that George Perez card in the mail finally. Did you? Yeah. God, the dream. So, Eleanor, there's there's a, yeah, in, there's the a kind of baseball... No, there's a, po, po, there's a baseball card company called Don Russ, and they used to have this thing called Diamond Kings, and there was painted portraits of, like, all-stars. Yeah. But for some reason, the guy who painted them, whose I na name, I believe, is George Perez... Would also paint a picture of himself, a portrait. Put it in the set. He, because he also is a diamond king. <laughs> Apparently, he is the best. There's at one card, and by there's, there's I, the one I got up. is a photograph of him at his desk painting. Like, hey guys, <laughs> but then he also did a portrait of himself. The portrait of himself. Miles better than any of the portraits of the players. He did. Holy shit! <laughs> Some of the portraits of players. Are fine, dude. I, I the Daryl Strawberry is a mess. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot of them. Are, a lot of them are like, all right. And so this I is, looked this at is the amazing. picture. That's he a little painted, accurate. He no? painted them big and shrunk them down. Which, yeah. as I know this from working as a as a commercial artist, that usually tightens the it portrait make it up. Nicer, yeah, 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 yeah. Not the Daryl Strawberry. <laughs> Eleanor, I he started, looks like he painted Daryl Strawberry running, like uh, while he was running <laughs> with a paintbrush, and, and someone just hit him with a big bucket of water, dude. <laughs> I looked like he was is dipping he into bleeding? strawberry stash. Is it, is it uh, I started going through, I spent like an hour going down a rabbit hole of Diamond Kings where I'm just like, I don't even, some of these guys, I'm like, I worship baseball so much in this era and I have no right. fucking clue who, who this are. guy is. Like why wow. this guy I can was chosen. Draw, I could probably draw Frank Viola from memory. He's yeah. a distinct guy. Yeah. Like there are just people that look a certain, yeah. their baseball's yeah. full of pretty distinct faces. Yeah. I, I, I got so excited, and after a while, I'm like, I, I don't even know who I share this joy with. <laughs> but eventually, I'm like, Kevin likes art, and this is this is the worst art Kevin I've ever seen. Art. So I text him, and he's like, dude, I just got a uh, Diamond King in the mail. I'm like, yes, I yeah, texted I, the right wow. person. Because I wanted, I for some reason, I saw a picture of a Bo Jackson card, and I was like, we're doing this. Yeah. Oh, and the guy happening. sent me, and the guy was like, you know, you paid $3 for this Bo Jackson. I'm giving you a Kirby Puckett, and then this random Daryl Strawberry portrait. 
Yeah, that's beautiful. I'm going to get every George Perez card there is. You have to. You right? have your own collection. I know. It's George so Perez fucking collection. weird. I literally sent him a thing. I'm like, he made his own Diamond King, and Kevin's like, buying this. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my youth, I've incredibly. I've been to your art shows, and I know you're amazing. Thank you. That's very nice of you. I'm not a good artist. I draw sick people. Fuck. Do you draw them fucking, though? Of course. Nice. Taking dumps. Like sticks. I put flies. <laughs> I put the flies on. put flies. On. Yeah. You got to have Once a Once somebody takes a shit, there's flies immediately. When I was flies a kid, on shit, it's a I thing. realized I was different from the other kids when it came to drawing. Because when they were like, draw. I remember I was six five or six and I was in school and they were like draw people running and I was the only one who uh, the leg was bent yeah and the teacher was like Kevin's leg is bent and I was like you're all morons yeah the problem here Yo, is how do your kids else, run like like why do you who runs straight legged <laughs> everyone made those H people where they were kind of shaped like an H yeah because no one, oh, no one yeah, could make, yeah, yeah. The, the, people didn't no understand one can how, make them sideways. how a crotch yeah, perspective. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. I don't understand. I, I don't understand how everyone can't draw. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. That's so annoying. Because you can, you can, I'm you can terrible. write, let, you can make an O. That's a circle. Yeah. So why can't you make this shape? It's an oval. Yeah. It's an O sideways. So why can't everyone do that? Because the paper ain't sideways, man. <laughs> this fucking guy, Whoa, man. Over here. This guy's over here talking Whoa, hard, man. Guy. Man, what show you think you're on? That was a valid. That was a valid point. That was a valid point. Can you draw, Rick? Uh, not great. No. Did you ever draw your baseball cards? Yeah, I used to do that all the time. Yeah, a yeah. lot. I, I remember. I, My I, nephews I, did that. I had a notebook yeah. that was just full of. Drawings of Andy Van Slyke. And yeah. for some reason, I feel like <laughs> I might be the only one who was doing it. And those things are probably pretty rare. If you so. could find those, <laughs> I would really like them. <laughs> that would be I, I amazing. Love, I have a, a, My parents just gave me like a bunch of boxes. Down here. I gotta to look me, non-artist oh, made they just art give is them? like kind of... I have a portrait of Tom Cruise done by Sarah Tiana. That is one of the most menacing things you've ever seen in your life. That's how oh, she wow. spent way too much time on the eyes. There, it looks like Tom Cruise. Can she draw? Yeah, she did. Well, she she told me she used like the graph technique, which sure. it, you make a graph and then you put the photo in the graph, and then right, yeah, right. it then makes it kind of it like it tracing. just tells you. It's not really tracing, but it just tells you where to go. You're like Got go yeah. from that part of the square to that. Right? She take that. So yeah. it's pretty accurate. It looks like Tom Cruise, but she went really hyper detail on the eyes, so it actually captures. How weird Intense. Tom Cruise yeah. is. Yeah. It's fucking incredible. I like that. But there was a, remember Beckett, the baseball card yeah. magazine? Yeah. There was this, I remember this drawing in the back of Beckett, and it was Wade Boggs as a baseball bat. And it was like an illustration Whoa. of Wade Boggs' face out of wood. It was him <gasps> and somebody else. But I remember it was maybe Will Clark. Okay. That kind of that, that era. Falls, yeah. And I, I drew it so many times, so I was like, wait a minute. Hold on. You're telling me. You can just turn someone into wood whenever you want. Wait a goddamn second. And no, uh, yeah, wood I grain know. to this day, constantly in my To place. this day, Wade Boggs, the first ever celebrity sex scandal <laughs> that I knew happened. Wow, yeah. And uh, he cheated on his wife, mm -hmm. and the woman had a press conference about it. And wow. Boggs basically came out and was like, yeah, things happen when you're on the road. Deal with it. <laughs> You want me to Tremendous. You, you want me to get out there and slap the pill around 340 <laughs> every season and not get my fucking tip wet? We were in Tampa. It was spring training. Things happen. Dude, what am I supposed to do? Those that time period of ball players. Unbelievable. Like we didn't we knew nothing about them. Work out. They were probably <laughs> the biggest bags of trash. Can you imagine? Like you, you I wish to God. That's how major league was made. Like those kind of movies. Was like, they were Baseball really, players, you're on the road to, too long. Yeah. yeah, you're in the minors for. That's why. Yeah. That's why decent like black athletes just go to the NBA. Yeah, they're like, hey, you're 18 and a great athlete. You want to spend four years on a shitty bus to play Dude. for no one in Tampa? You're like, no. Yeah. Russell Wilson made it through half a season of minor league baseball before he's like. I just became a college quarterback. That's how you doing in sport. <laughs> yeah. And then he had to transfer schools because people were like, you're not that every good. Every one good season. Like every quarterback got offered a contract with the Yankees. It's some, yeah. they were all, because you. they all have arms like Kansas. Like, I don't want to do that. Great. It'll be 20 years before I make any real money. The Royals drafted John Elway and the following oh, yeah. year right. drafted Marino. Mm -hmm. And obviously neither one of them 
came Why and played for the Royals. That? But twelve games are a hundred and sixty-two. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Forget about the 62. fucking NBA. Oh yeah. One of the great onion headlines I ever saw was uh, NBA season interrupted by NBA preseason. That's very funny. <laughs> That's very funny. That's very funny. 162 games. That's insane. My I nephew pl- plays. I briefly played fantasy football and someone was like, you should play fantasy baseball. And someone was like, no, 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 no. You don't want it. Like every day, you have to do it You'd every day. You have to do day. it every my, day. My, my dad will be like, you haven't uh, updated your lineup. And I'm like, yeah. I have children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have children. And this dog. Yeah. And a dog is too much responsibility Two to have dogs. a fantasy baseball team. It is. It's a lot. And fantasy basketball is the fantasy same thing. Fantasy baseball, yeah, basketball too. It, I, it doesn't make sense. The football one's the only one that makes sense because it's shorter, yeah, way shorter. I, yeah. When Guys, I was I'm, in, I'm, just so we're all aware, I'm I'm in the Comedy Store Fantasy Football Championship They've been this doing weekend. it. Oh, okay. nice. They've I, been doing I'm it. Playing against they? Teebs. It's very exciting times. I miss Teebs. So Teebs. great. I yeah. miss Teebs. I do too. I miss yeah. a funny dude. He's a fun guy. Yeah, all, fun guy. all of the shit talking on the comedy store or fantasy football uh, text thread, which but not nearly as much as you would like. Yeah. But it's all basically aimed at Mostly. what a piece of shit Josh Martin is. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since he got in the league a couple yeah. of years ago. Oh, so he's in it. He's so in it. So you're just so breaking his balls on. It's got just it. like everyone will randomly chime in throughout the season. It'll just be like a random Wednesday. <laughs> hey, noon. Josh, fuck you. And it, it'll just say, dude, what a piece of shit fucking Josh is. And it'll just be from Toby. <laughs> like, oh, that's right. great. I don't know a lot about football. So in my league, I didn't. Especially draft, the draft day is so much pressure. Yeah. And I remember in, in round three, I picked a kicker. And it was such a bad move. They what let me, they let me a, pick again. <laughs> and they, were like, they were like, oh. They were like, because I, like, with my full chest, I was like, Nate Kading. They were like, whoa, 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 <laughs> buddy. Well, Kevin, what are you, are you sure? doing? Third, yeah. what, ro- Third round. round 13 is where you're going to yeah, start yeah, yeah. for kicker. I, I should have been looking at receivers, <laughs> yeah. quarterback, yeah, anything. Nate K- but to be fair, Nate Kading kicked a fucking points every because he was on the, that year they were kind of shitty so at least six points a game yeah sometimes nine yeah. so it's better than any receiver I, yeah. I just I, in the yards. third round I always take wheels Parisi oh that's perfect yeah because I you know I played at Florida played State for, what was the coach's name we just called him coach there you go so one day I'm, <laughs> uh, one day I'm in the I'm in the back I'm in the you know the back bar of the store right and uh and I just that day I'd like gone to network on a pilot, you know, like and if for Bragger, those you don't know, yeah. when you go to network, you have to sign all the contracts in case you get the job. Right. It's this awful thing where you know exactly about how much money you're gonna lose. If you right, if you don't get you're it, like it sucks. if I go in and get this job, and this particular pilot I remember was already picked up for 13 episodes. So wow. I was explained to my the girl I was dating at the time, I go, if I do well today, I get four hundred thousand dollars. Or nothing. Nothing, yeah. So forgive wow. me if I'm a little... There's a, yeah. today's, today's important. So I don't get the job. I go to the store and someone's asked me about whatever. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's just such a fucking annoying process. You got to sp- you gotta get there early and sign all these contracts. And Wheels goes, yeah, so I never sign. And I was like, sorry? What? He goes, yeah, it's, I never sign. When I go to network, I never sign any of the contracts. Oh. I go, really? And he goes, yeah, because you know, you never know what's going to come up. You want to be like, I don't want to be tied down. So I never sign any of the contracts before I Dude, go to network. Tracking. That makes sense. And I'm like, huh, I don't know him. I don't, I've never, yeah. I barely know him. I'm like, okay. And then later I'm talking to Simone. I'm like, yeah, Will says he never signs when he goes never. And Simone goes, oh, uh, Kevin, there's something you should know. <laughs> and I go, what is that? He goes, one, do not believe a single word two. that comes out of his mouth ever. Yeah. I go, oh, really? Dude, he's never been the network. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying the 10 episode arc on The Sopranos yeah, that they didn't not. use because his character was eclipsing Tony's character? It was a little it was too convincing. That's a lie? Well, uh, that was right around the time the HBO offered me the baritones. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. They were going to rival okay. the Sopranos. The, what we were going to do is. Is the, he the cannoli king? It, it, I mean, Let's it, not get into that one. Okay, Jesus. It, it's a little bit of yes and Remember a lot Dice of yes. Dice going, I need, no, I need you to do the magic seven. <laughs> no, but I have more. No. <laughs> fabulous you seven. Fabulous seven. seven. I need the fabulous seven. Yeah. No, but I got more. No, you I, 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 only I got, have seven. I could do an hour and crest the whole thing when you were seven. <laughs> you do, know the seven wheels. Do the. You only, he looked at him right there, you only have seven. I, was like, and then he goes, I didn't have seven at the time. I was like, that's a lot. That's a lot, actually. That's a whole lot. And then he got off stage. The freeway bit? Get off. Great. You're going to get off. Get on. Get back on. 
Keep going and going. You're going to go run to a brick wall. Get off. And I was like, this is not. Every once in a while, that bit crushed. Crush. Yeah. You're going to see a sign that says, Welcome to Long Beach. <laughs> you know, I said, I was trying to go to Pasadena. He said, Oh, I don't think you can get there from there's here. A thing in, it's like, <laughs> there's a thing in stand up where it's like, there's a lot of one hit wonders. Oh like, there was a handful of people so that had a hot five mm -hmm. or like a one really great joke. Yeah. And you're, or like a fantastic 15. Yeah. And then it, I remember we had a comic. He was crushing 15 minutes. Somebody was late. And they, um, I was waiting tables. And they go, we're going to have to have him stretch. And I went, oh. Oh, no. He's just going to start over. Yeah. He doesn't have a stretch. Yep. <laughs> There's no stretch. Yep. Stretch isn't here. And that was the night a nonchalani had to stretch <laughs> and do seven and a half minutes. We never had him stretch. Yeah, like, he never, he never even, did even made 15. it to the light. He, yeah. I think seven was the longest ever. I ever saw him do. I was once in Sacramento with Bobby, and he goes, he goes, I'm just going to do 35. And Bobby? they look, yeah, Bobby Lee, and they go, what? He goes, if you don't like it, just don't ever book me again. <laughs> and he, he did 50, but yeah. he just told him, I'm only doing 35. Smart. <laughs> it was brilliant. Oh, are they calling me? They're not calling you. Oh, okay. All right, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, wrap Kevin, up. give us your uh, six favorite porno clips. Uh, <laughs> well, obviously, we heard about one we of them. We know one of them Sly. Solo. Right. I mean, it's going to be my uh, favorite. I'm going to send you one over. I think you're going to like it. It's just it's a solo with Frank Stallone. Mm -hmm. um, he's, he's doing lounge... Tunes. Wearing a cowboy also hat. Also swinging. What was Love Patrick it. Swayze's brother's name? Uh, Pat? <laughs> that oh, can't no. be. No. no. That would be mean. That would be so funny. There was another Swayze. Yeah, it is. I do have it's a... Like there was a show. There was a sitcom Swayze that was... Swayze's brother, Frank Stallone, and some one other brother. Yeah, the Swayze's I, brother has... Season. He only has one leg. One of the legs Whoa. is fake. Is that true? I yeah. do have a friend that his dad... Uh, they named him, and then they, Albert, and then they he had a, kids with another woman, and she wanted to name her son Albert. Don so they both Swayze. have the same exact Don name. Don Swayze. Well, yeah. fucking George Foreman, all his sons are named George. There's like six. Yeah. Uh, by the way, I watched the George Foreman movie on Netflix on the plane. You and, need an evil Swayze. Whoa. Don Swayze is really... Damn, I it's thought weird that was cause... Brad Watson. Oh, oh yeah! Holy Man, that shit. Half, how dare you? Half Swayze, half Watson. <laughs> that is a Swayze Watson mashup for wow, sure. Wow, that that's is like whoa. almost the straight Conan O'Brien. That's skill. a mashup we didn't know we didn't want. So we have time. Uh, Neil's you have, on stage right you now. You have time. Neil Center. Brennan. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I it's gonna... weird because all the Swayze's in. You're talking about just a, a thicker, a thicker brow ridge. Yeah. Well, you run his easy the Slightly... forehead a little, and now you got evil. Oh, he's Swayze. definitely got yeah that jawline, that that those eyebrows. But Don Swayze's Ooh. face, that kind of face, was very big in the '90s. He would have done fine if his brother wasn't one that's of the greatest Swayze. of all time. Someone did the math on his paycheck for Roadhouse. Remember when he like demands his salary? He's yeah. like, I want this much. Someone was like, it was like three hundred grand. Yeah. He's like, I want this much per week plus this. Someone's, he was you asking for like yourself. hundreds of thousands of dollars. The guy to be just goes, guy all right, at a bar in the eighties <laughs> in Missouri. Yeah, in Missouri. Whoa. This guy was getting paid a dentist salary. <laughs> That's what he just literally gives his car away to some guy in New York because <laughs> he's like, loaded. It's like, oh. It's like, how did you know he was worth it? Well, one night he said, right boot. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew it. I fucking I knew, knew it, it from that moment on. Swayze was great. He really was. Didn't he write that song? She's like the wind. Oh, yeah. Through my trees. <laughs> I mean, like, Dirty no. Dance. How does a movie like Dirty, Dirty Dancing, Dancing even do great. well? It's how, a terrible title. The title's so bad. Dirty Dancing, they called it. It's not really about that. Yeah, it is. It's how I mean, like, it's, we thought there was going to be people like, humping. Also, it's about family. It's about Christ, growing good up. Christian living. Yeah, but then that family gets broken up because she wants a dirty dance. <laughs> with, a, with a gentleman that <laughs> might be a little sweet. Yeah. And is way too old for her. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> He's like 30. Yeah. She's 17. She's like, I don't know how I'm going to break this to my they dad. Literally like, try, yeah, they try and make the dad the bad guy. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I'm not going to let you fuck my child. Yeah, and all he was doing was like, trying right, to thwart yeah. statutory rape. <laughs> That's all. I know where this dancing leads. That movie, I saw it in the theater with my with my dad, my stepmom, and our, my stepsister. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a pretty weird choice. Great movie, though. Dirty Dancing. Jennifer Grey. Forget Excellent. it. Forget it. All yeah. day. She that run, she had a rocking. run. From Red Dawn all the Red way Dunn, through. Red Dawn, Ferris, Dirty Dancing. 
Excellent. Yeah. So good. Then got her nose done and that was it. The the thing done. she did when Don't she runs up the stairs and Ferris Bueller screaming when she thinks the house. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. That turn she does where she turns in the corner is excellent. <laughs> like Charlie Chaplin good. She just goes, ah, ah it's fucking so good. <laughs> she's she's so good. She is good. I, I was I was shaking my head because of how terrible Charlie Chaplin is. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you got against Charlie? If it is old, it ain't good. That's how I look at it. <laughs> if it's old, it ain't good. You're not that wrong. Most I mean, of that stuff is total trash. I, for a long time, I... Uh, I, I love him. My I can first, watch him all day. Do you watch old movies at all? Yeah, my mom and I watch... You know what I watch? We watched, we watched White Christmas. Oh, dude, not my favorite. Really? It's the dancing's good, but pretty great. The, yeah. The or, singing. you know, we watched Meet Me in St. Louis. You ever Excellent. Seen Judy Garland. To play it on a loop. Judy Garland's one of those people that's as good as people thought that she was. I can do the lines from it, but also really? they, I mean, my it's mom watch movie. it every, almost every year, and then I watch it throughout the year. Don't get jealous, Rick. She's so funny. But that's where the song came from, the Christmas song. That was the first time it was ever White sung. Christmas? White Christmas. I, I read it. It was supposed to be like almost every, it was supposed to be Fred Astaire. He was like retired. Yeah. Yeah, and then it was so supposed to be good. someone other than Danny Kay. Those people's ability back then was crazy. So good. They They're, had to be a triple set they all had or to they be couldn't live do performers, anything. Danny so. Kay was hilarious. He could dance his sing, ass off. They could dance. sing. He was a good actor. Like it was, but Gar Judy Garland and Meet Me in St. Louis is funny, like in a way that's like modern. Mm -hmm. Like she does things that are like almost like single camera, like single camera comedy good. Yeah. We watched this other one, and I know you probably guys didn't ever watch it, but it's called All Mine to Give. Just uh, saying it, I could start crying. I don't well, watch yeah. old. So period. good. How about A Tree Grows in Brooklyn? Nope. nope. Excellent. Nope. Excellent. They tried to show me all these movies in I remember film Mama? school, and I was like, you think I'm coming to class? <laughs> You're just making these up. No, no, I swear to God. I remember <laughs> like, Mama as Irene These are quotes Dunn. from Coming yeah. to America. I remember I The bell rings twice <laughs> when Daddy doesn't come home. Like, you can just do For this. For whom the bell tolls. <laughs> For whom the bell tolls. <laughs> excellent. I like uh, Funny Face. All the face. Christmas ones. Funny Face funny with Audrey Hepburn. Excellent. That's a great movie. We watched Breakfast no, at Tiffany's the I other day. I read that book. It's I did very not. different. I watched the movie. A read lot. the book. It's very different. Don't try to get yeah, me to read. On. Read the fucking book, <laughs> Eleanor. <laughs> read the book, Eleanor. No, <laughs> read the book no. already. We don't have the money. <laughs> we should rap. Uh, you should rap. On stage. All, right, All right, listen, guys, check out Kevin. What's the name of your? Uh, I what, remember. What do you got Mama. a radio show? What are you doing now? <laughs> I haven't. Go. To, you can look at my Instagram, Kevin G Christie. It has uh, just paintings on it. Look paintings. at the paintings. What's the G for? My middle name, because my, my full name wasn't available because Kevin and Christy got married and it's their wedding album. Oh, shit. Mm. Yeah, fuck me, right? Assholes. All I'm doing is creating masterpieces over here. No one gives a shit. You ever yeah. think about trying to get a three-way with those two? Yeah, we gotta. We could break them up. I'd be down just to watch. Oh, All it. right, so reach out if you're a fan of the show. Uh, <laughs> if you want Kevin to come I love watch. this voice, Rick. <laughs> Reach out for fun. It's, oh, it's a real like M MLB, like small market <laughs> team. Uh, we're M Milwaukee's number one. <laughs> Thanks for tuning into the Twin Cities broadcast. They won't let me broadcast the actual game, but the after game I got it handled. We're doing Tampa Bay Rays games here from Montreal. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> women belong in the kitchen. Whoa. Hey, Matt Rife. <laughs> we got Frank Viola coming up next. And <laughs> Brett Saberhagen. Right after that, we're going to be doing 15 with Burt Blylevin. <laughs> Him and Kenty Herbeck got some things coming up that you're going to want to stay Herbeck. tuned for. Dude, the most boring white men in the world were the whole MLB in the 80s. Gary Gaetti's holiday oh. ham giveaway is going to be... Guys, Greg Jeffries is coming in. <laughs> Terrible. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Thank you, guys. Like, subscribe, do all that shit. Follow Kevin Christie. Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs>